Amnesia, a machine for pigs, is going free on the Epic Store from the 15th of October through to the 22nd. So I have taken a look at this game to see if it's worth playing. So if you like this video, then give it a like, subscribe for more, and become a member for only 99 cents a month or your local equivalent. So what is Amnesia a Machine for Pigs? Well, it's the sequel to the smash hit Amnesia The Dark Descent that was released in 2010. This game is known for being incredibly scary and helping to launch the careers of various YouTubers like PewDiePie. For many years, the original Amnesia was the king of horror games, so a machine for pigs has a lot to live up to. Though it plays very similarly to the original. You walk or sprint around a location with your light source, you pick up journals or letters scattered around to get extra story information while solving some puzzles. This game follows the main character, Oswald Mandus, as he wakes up from a fever and hearing his children fall out to him. You need to find out what's going on and what the roaring machine beneath your feet is all about. The original was known for its incredible atmosphere, its feeling of dread and its terrifying scares. You would complete the game while being chased and having to hide from the creatures set around the game. A Machine for Pigs nails the atmosphere and its feeling of dread. However, one huge failure of this game is its scares, or rather, its lack of scares. It feels like the game is always building up to something. You can see little glimpses here and there, but it just never comes. Or they are so few and far between that I've forgotten them. Instead of feeling like a horror game, like an actual sequel to the original, it feels like a bad imitation or just a creepy walking simulator. Graphically, it's just fine, I guess. For a game that's now seven years old and was probably developed on a small budget, you know, it looks all right. It's not gonna blow you away, but it gets the job done. One thing that I notice is that it seems to be at a locked 60 FPS, but I was getting moments when it would drop down to a locked 40 FPS, and I have no idea why as it would randomly go back up to 60 after a while. The sound effects in the game are nothing special, unfortunately. Everything sort of sounds as you'd expect it to. Footsteps, doors, drawers, and the machine itself just sort of sound like they should. So I guess it's done what it needs to there. What it does well is its ambient sound. So the creaks, the groans of the pipes, the howling of the wind, and this near constant bassy tone keeps you on edge waiting for the scare and the music when it kicks in is great and it helps with that sense of dread or that some big scare is coming up which unfortunately just doesn't happen. So finally, is it worth playing? The graphics are alright, the sound overall is pretty good and it plays like the original Amnesia. However, because of the huge failure of its scares, I would have to say no, it isn't worth playing. The Amnesia title carries with it an expectation of being scared out of your pants, or trousers, or whatever you want to call them, but this game just doesn't do it. If you want a scary game to play this Halloween, then go back to the original Amnesia, the first Outlast game, or if you've got some friends, then pick up Phasmophobia. That game is awesome to play and subscribe to the channel to check out my experience playing that game with a video coming out this Friday. So that's all for this video, thank you all for watching and I will see you on the next one.